Welcome to this video. This is a two-parter video. Um, the first part of the video, I just would like to talk to everybody about their health. Um, okay, so I got a few drinks displayed out here on the table. All right. Well, for, for those of you who don't know what you put in your body, you are what you eat, you are what you drink. Okay, so right here, I'm going to start with alcohol, beer. Okay. So, I mean, a lot of people don't just grab a beer and they drink it. They don't look what's inside. They don't, they don't look at the nutrition facts. Well, they really don't have any label, but I will tell you one can of beer can be close to 300 calories. Okay. Has a lot of uh, sodium in it, a lot of sodium carbohydrates. Okay. So moving on next to, uh, to next, the next drink, We've got Coca-Cola. Okay. So you're looking at 140 calories for one serving, which is about 12 ounces, uh, 45 milligrams of sodium, which is actually mid range in between 100. Usually Powerades have 100, okay, of sodium, but it has a lot of carbohydrate, 40 grams of carbohydrate, okay? There is a lot of sugar, added sugar. 70% of this is sugar, guys, with water. And a little bit of carbonation okay it's bad for your teeth it's not good for your insides i would say if you're gonna drink drink one beer a day all right maybe have one 12 glass of soda try to stay away from soda as much as possible it's only good to drink this when you make a coke float or a burger special occasions all right next we're gonna move on to water okay i got a just some water here this is the ph if you get it straight out the tap ph level 7.0 you know it's healthy man you just you can drink as much water as you want until your stomach feels bloated and you, you won't get sick from it i mean it's healthy for you it cleanses your your bloodstream it's good so we're going next we're going to move on to uh juice okay i got some uh punch okay juice all right i'll read the nutrition facts for you so maybe 60 about one one little con container or let's say a 12 ounce cup Two of these would be 120 calories, which is mid-range. All right, there's not that much sugar. 13 grams of sugar, 14 grams of carbohydrate. Now, this is for a 60 calorie serving. 120 would be double that. So maybe 28, gram, 28 grams of carbohydrate and 26 grams of sugar, okay? But other than, other than that, the sugar is healthy, people. It's not like... Uh, uh, ke chemically processed sugar like soda. All right, so it's healthier to drink. It's, it's sugar from natural fruit juice. Okay, I got some uh, milk here. Now milk all around does a body good. It's just healthy, has calcium in it. Uh, it does have cholesterol, but low levels. It doesn't have any fat. This type of juice, uh, milk, it's 0% I got at the store, okay, it's 0%. I mean, this milk is good, it's really healthy. Eight grams of protein. Come on, you don't even need to make a, you don't need to make a protein shake when you go to the gym. You could drink milk. You could have two cups of milk before and one after. I love milk, it's my favorite. But anyways, um, so that's that. Second part of the video, after these messages. Okay, so everybody, I'm so excited for this episode. Welcome to Kyle's Kitchen, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the mall or if you've been to a fancy mall and you, you've come across a store called Cinnabon, uh, copyrighted Cinnabon, anyways. But uh, it's they have the best Cinnabons in the world. And another, another way, you can make Cinnabons really low cost and cheap. Um, is you could do it yourself, all right? And one a good brand for making Cinnabons at home, all right? Your your own what your own way. Simple, quick, easy. 15 minutes or less. You can get um, you can get Pepperidge Farm Cinnabons with the icing. Usually comes in a tube like this. So we're gonna start this episode off. I got a sheet pan, okay? Uh, some butter and Cinnabons with icing. So I, and I got the oven preheated to 400. Remember, 400 degrees, okay? So what we're gonna do to start off is we'll take a piece of butter, 
we're gonna rub the uh, pan. Okay, we're gonna rub the pan so the cinnamon buns don't stick. Okay, we're gonna try to use a clean pan. I try to clean this pan as best I could. There's still a little bit of gunk on it, but it'll be all right. Let's uh, open these up. Okay. What you gotta do, start from the top, and you gotta peel off the end. You gotta peel it off. And usually when you start peeling, the Cinnabons will just pop right out. It'll, it'll pop out like that. Woo, scared me. All right. Pop right out, just like that. Okay. Um, not really too sure how many Cinnabons you can get out of these, out of one of these things, but it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably get about eight Cinnabons, okay? Got the icing right here. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do this. All right, so. Put them face down like that. Okay. I'm doing one inch apart from each other. Okay. One inch apart. One in, one inch apart. About. Okay. Because they will fluff up, guaranteed in the oven. They're gonna they're gonna expand in the oven. Okay, just so you know that. Okay. Last one. So, next step, gonna bring the Cinnabons over to the oven. Looks like this. Spread apart from each other. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. Remember, you wanna put it on the second, on the set in the middle rack. Okay, middle rack. And I'm gonna set my timer on my watch. And I will see you guys in about 15 to 17 minutes. And we'll look at the final product. And then we could do the icing with each other. Okay? Okay, so we're back. All right. Hey, everybody. Make sure you got your oven mitt and, and, and some protectant for your hands. When you pull it out the oven, you do not want to burn yourself. You want to be careful, and safety is always first in the kitchen. Remember that, okay? So we got about 30 seconds until I pull these bad boys out the oven, and I'm gonna let you know, um, when you're putting the icing on, there's a, uh, usually it comes in a packet like this. So I guess it's ready to pull it. And it's, it's time to pull out these bad boys from the oven. So uh, stand by, and I'll see you in a second. All right, it look good, okay? All right, so this is how we're gonna do it. I already cut a slit in it. We're gonna decorate it now. We're gonna do it in a circular motion. You wanna try to conserve the icing so you have enough for all of the Cinnabons. You might have a little bit extra left over, so just try to fill in as much as you can with the icing. They usually normally give you enough for all of the Cinnabons. Looks like I'm gonna have just enough. Now you wanna let them sit, and then after that, and then uh, it's a wrap after that. You wanna let them sit, and the best way to eat them is hot. So you can have a couple of them, share them with your family, then you put them, you want to, uh, when you put them away, you want to put a top on it, put it in the fridge, and then the next time you go to eat them, 
All you gotta do is just uh, put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, and that's all you'll need. 15 to 25 seconds, and then they'll be uh, they'll be nice and uh, hot for you. All right. So that's it. This is a short episode. So thank you for watching Kyle's Kitchen, and and uh, and th and thank and uh, thank you for being. Actually, I want to tell you guys subscribe if you can. It only takes two seconds. Just click on the subscribe button on YouTube and I really would appreciate it because the more subscribers to get um, and the more fans I have the more uh, motivation I have to do these videos I'm gonna do them either way and if you do have recipe ideas and which you would like me to cook for you that you're confused on uh, send me an email at uh, Kyle chef Kyle winter chef Kyle winter at gmail.com